A very powerful and sad display today at San Diego City College. 1,000 backpacks were lined up on a grassy knoll. Each one represents a college student who took their own life. The project was started by a student who lost her brother to suicide 12 years ago. Since then, the movement has reached across the country and convinced a lot of people to get help. KUSI's Dan Plant shows us the emotional display. It's one of those heartbreaking topics that most people would rather not talk about. For every backpack you see here, there is a name, a face, and a story with a very sad ending. It allows you to connect more with the human beings and the experience they might have had seeing some of their personal items. Here at San Diego City College, an emotional and powerful display is reaching out and grabbing people by the heart. Each backpack belongs to a college student who went to a dark place and couldn't find a way out. Makes us realize that we're not alone and that there are people who can help us through any issues we might have. No, we are clearly not alone. The truth is almost everyone knows someone who took their own life. Every person I have met on the road thus far has been affected. Every single person, whether it be a neighbor, an acquaintance, a son, a professor, a student, a father, a teammate. Looking at these backpacks all lined up, all 1,000 of them obviously sends a very powerful message. People who have left us too soon. But when you read the story, the story that's on each one of these backpacks, you realize that this is a story that could have ended much differently. And that's the point. The movement is called Send Silence Packing. When it comes to mental illness, silence can truly be deadly. And the stigma of mental illness creates that silence. I think it has a stigma about it still because we don't understand it very well and we don't know what questions we as friends and family should be asking and so there's a stigma attached to it that silence is better than addressing an issue. A new symbol for the mission, a tattoo of a semicolon created by a woman who attempted suicide but lived to help others get out of those dark places. A semicolon is used when an author could have ended their sentence but chose not to. You are the author, the sentence is your life. Looking at these young faces, it's clear they all had much more to offer, but the internal pain prevented them from reaching out. This is another brutal reminder that it's okay not to be okay, and asking for help is not a weakness, but a blessing. Thinking of it as a weakness is kind of what puts a stigma on it. So I think when you put it like this and realize that none of us are immune, while facing the realities of mental illness and depression is extremely tough, it's even tougher when we sweep it under the rug. At San Diego City College, Dan Plant, KU.